Why do we like terrible characters? In the film Nightcrawler, Jake Gyllenhaal plays Lou, a Sigma Cinema darling who happens to be a literal sociopath. He assaults people, bribes people, and basically kills people all in the pursuit of success. But even though his actions can make our stomachs feel all twisty, we can still relate to him. Screenwriter Dan Gilroy really pushed the limits of creating a terrible protagonist, giving us someone who is rotten to the core, but also kind of passes the vibe check because he's a rat stuck in a rat race hoping to succeed, just like you. But Gilroy brilliantly tests to see just how far we're willing to excuse the behavior of a terrible person driven solely by self-interest. And we kind of failed that test. Now, most characters like Lou in similar films at least have empathy. Lou doesn't. Because while Lou isn't as sympathetic as a character like Walter White or Kendall Roy, most of us at some point in our lives have been in Lou's position. Desperate for work, desperate to break through, devoid of emotion after being beaten down from a system where we can't seem to win. But Lou can, because he doesn't have a filter holding him back. Gilroy wrote the film as a hard slap across the face commentary on capitalism and how the only ones who succeed in the society are genuinely terrible people. So while you're disgusted by his actions, there's this part of you in the back of your brain that just wants to say, fuck it. Which is why we want the bad guys to win at the end of a heist movie. Or we kind of want Lou to win at the end of this film. Even if we feel gross about it. Because we want to win too. Even if we feel gross about it. What the fuck?